I wanted to ask you about sexual abuse. Um, there was the, the report that came out that mentioned that that a peacekeeper in Haiti who had, who had fathered children with a, with a, in, in a condition of sexual exploitation uh, was suspended for nine days. And now there's reports in Canada that are more specific. They say this was a Montreal police officer. There were actually two of them. One was only suspended for five days. And there are calls by the Haitian community in Montreal that this is an outrage in terms of the lack of punishment. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know, I asked at the time, like, is not Mr. Kari, I think it was, was nine days enough? Mm -hmm. What does the UN think, given it was in the UN's report as one of the few cases in which a home country actually took action, is nine days enough? And what is the UN going to do in terms of Canada's dealing with sexual exploitation in Haiti when the people come uh, home? Obviously, I think each... Uh, Member states are responsible for the prosecution of people who may have committed crimes. Uh, we hope that those people are persecuted to the to the full extent of the law. I, I'm not aware of the details of the case, and I, I, it's hard for me to say what is sufficient or not uh, sufficient. Should they pay child support? Uh, obviously, people who father or children have right. uh, have responsibilities. But does the UN? I guess what I'm saying is that they weren't. Even, there was no criminal anything. No, and I think, and, I, and job, I also so. think, you know, there there is uh, there is be this trust fund for support uh, for the victims, uh, but I have no more details on on the case. Sure. Uh, also, something on Burundi. Um, I wanted to ask. First, is is <coughs> uh, some there are saying that that some of the the peacekeepers that were that, that came back from from mm -hmm. CAR under allegations of abuse. Mm -hmm have in turn just been simply sent out to Amazon in Somalia, and they're naming a first major sergeant, Zephyrin. And I wanted to know if, what is the UN's role in vetting, vetting those sent to, to Amazon? I know there's an, there used to be a support mission. Is it, I would assume that the UN wouldn't allow a peacekeeper repatriated from one mission to be sent to another mission, but how about being sent to an African Union mission that the UN supports? Well, listen, I, I, I can't, I, I'm not, aware of those uh, details, but obviously we would hope that anyone who is repatriated uh, for any, for suspicion of, of being involved in sexual abuse uh, would have to deal with those uh, those charges first before doing anything else. Okay. I want to ask a qu one, couple questions about the audit, but I want to, I'm sure you've seen this New York Times article about the Roma that were in the, the mm -hmm. UNMIC camp in Pristina, yeah. and I wanted to, I mean, it seems like they may be getting an apology and even recompense, but I guess people inevitably look at that and compare it to the situation of Haiti, and they say, mm -hmm. If UNMIC had a claims commission or whatever body or human rights review panel that was able, that's able to, at this distance, award damages and an apology, why doesn't uh, uh, the mission in Haiti have such a similar uh, body? On Haiti, our, our, our position has not uh, changed. On Kosovo, the leadership of the mission in Kosovo has indeed received uh, the uh, recommendation, uh, the advisory panel's recommendation uh, in reference to that complaint. Um, it's not the, the advisory panel is not a tribunal, but an advisory body, as its name uh, implies, set up in, 20, in 2006 by the SRSG in Kosovo to examine those uh, complaints of alleged human rights violations committed or by or attributed to, uh, to the UN interim administration in Kosovo. Upon completion of an examination of a complaint, the panel submits its findings to the SRSG, which they have done. Uh, the findings of the panel, which may include recommendations, are an advisory nature. The SRSG will not carefully study the panel's opinion and recommendations. It will issue a decision in due course, taking into account all its aspects. So is it, is it up to each SRSG whether there's, there's accountability? This, no, I, this is a specific uh, mechanism that was created in this, uh, in this case.